Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you the difference between the transform tool inside Camera Raw and Lightroom and uh, the adaptive wide angle. And I'm going to show you the, the difference between and how far you can take each one of those uh, tools. So as you can see I've got a ultra wide shot of this church in here. It's an amazing beautiful church in Portugal and uh, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, but obviously because behind me, you can't see it, behind me there was the, the cemetery and I actually have some photos here that I can show you. Uh, so as you can see, the cemetery is here. I was shooting for HDR. So for me to get a clear shot of the church on its own, I had to go close. So obviously there's the distortion. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open up that image in camera raw. So, We've got this in camera raw. I'm going just to open this image because I want to use that as a reference. I'm going to be using this one here as a reference. That's why I'm opening straight away in Photoshop. And now I'm going to open in camera raw. So this way we'll have more versions. So we've got this one here. And uh, right here on the top, we've got transform tool. If we click in here, we've got many options. We can go automatic, uh, levels, uh, horizontal lines, vertical lines, and horizontal and vertical lines and then you can just bring a guide down on its own so something like so when you apply the first guide nothing happens you need two at least and as you can see does a half decent job so let's try to do this like so and that's it I can't add any more lines to it so I'm going to click open image so we can see this in Photoshop. So first thing we've noticed is we lost the top uh, and we lost the side, but I'm not worried about the side. Uh, so this was the, the scene that uh, you saw and I got to one point that I only could drag just a certain amount of lines. So what I want to do is I want just to go to the other image which is the original one, I'm going to duplicate so we can see the before and after. And now I'm going to take it to filter. So filter, and I'm going to adaptive wide angle. And as you can see, it takes straight away the camera and the lens I used and applies the distortion. So first thing I want to do is I want to come here to the top and click down. And as you can see, it's not a straight line, it just follows the 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 same as the lens the distortion of the lens so i'm coming here and what i'm going to do is I, i'm going to hold shift holding shift to make that line a true vertical and as you can see it's a true vertical and i'm going to this point as well so i'm going over here you can see right here we have a window so you can make sure that you are precise on the spot you want i'm going to bring it down like so and i'm going to hold shift again Cool. And now I want the bottom as well. So I'm coming here all the way and I'm going to hold shift because now it will detect actually it's an horizontal line. There you go. And now I'm going to come here to this area. And as you can see, I'm adding, adding quite a few uh, lines and no problem here. So I'm going to just carry on. So I'll just go this one here, bring it down, hold shift another straight line and uh, I'll just carry on in this case oh, go again and go again and as you can see it's making everything straight and uh, there you go right here on the top on the roof I'm just going to drag a line without holding the the shift because of, obviously it's not neither a vertical or horizontal and here like so so imagine the top like this cross I drag a line and I don't know if I want to vertical or horizontal I know I want a vertical but right here if you right click on it you've got unfixed horizontal vertical or arbitrary so you, you've got full control of everything including the like a pivot point so you could f actually free transform that so I'm going to unfixed and I'm going to vertical. Yeah, there you go. 
and I'm going to click OK. I could probably spend a bit more time, but as you can see, before and after, it's not too bad. It's not so bad. Then obviously I could just content aware these areas. So I'm just going to drag a selection. So content aware. Oops, I need to add a bit that, that extra bit as well. So and something like so. So shift delete contents content aware. Click OK. Job done. Or I can just grab the clone stamp tool and clone this area. Oh, let's deselect that. Alt click and I can could just come here and clone that area as well. Or something like so. And uh, obviously the easier way, crop. So I could come here and crop this image like so, like so. And I can see there's a bit missing here. I'll just zoom in and clone stamp it. So keep it aligned. And there you go. And as you can see, it did a very good job. Look at those tiles. Those tiles are hand painted. Stunning. Well, as you can see now, that's one option and there's another one. And if you see the, the, what I did in Cam Raw, it doesn't look right. It just stretches the pixels. I'm not saying it's the, be the best thing to do is actually use uh, either of those tools. You would be better off using a tilt shift lens. I don't have one. Um, but if you don't have one and you want to get that shot and you only have that lens, listen, with Photoshop and with a bit of time, a couple of lines and you're good to go. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I hope this helped you a lot as well. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, share this video with everyone you know, family, friends and even with those you don't know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.